let us discuss about making of a solar cooker cooker means generally we get an idea of rice cooker or pressure cooker this we consider as a cooker generally it will cook the contents inside it so when some vegetables or when food material is there raw food material is there it will cook it but we have to supply heat to it cooker a vessel which cooks a cooker is a vessel which cooks generally it requires heat that heat is supplied by either by kerosene stove or gas stove or any other heating device now coming to the solar cooker what is meant by a solar cooker solar cooker is a device it is an instrument it will supply heat to a vessel which cooks solar cooker directly will not cook the contents of the food solar cooker is a device which provides heat to a vessel which contains the food material now let us discuss how to make a solar cooker now how does the solar cooker look like we have seen dish antenna at different places just like this let us consider this this is a dish antenna see here a dish antenna looks like this it has dish and it has some low noise blocking converter this is the dish now this how does the cooker look like this solar cooker looks like dish antenna see here how does it look see here dish antenna looks like this and this is dth dish direct to home dish it is a concave shaped it is concave shaped it has some a, some dth low noise block down converter low noise block down converter now we are not here discussing about dish antenna just we are comparing the solar cooker looks like the dish antenna we are particularly discussing only about it the solar cooker looks like dish antenna and uh, we will now first find out how to make a dish antenna and that dish antenna shape vessel we can use it for our solar cooker now see here in the market we might have seen acrylic mirror sheets and acrylic mirror sheets will be like this we can bend it like this but it looks like mirror acrylic mirror sheets we can also get it in terms of sheets like this acrylic mirror sheets now we have to take this mirror sheets and we have to cut it in a isosceles triangle shape like this we have to take and you can take one more sheet like this similarly you can take one more thing or else like this you can shape it like this like this you can make it like this One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
like this nine or like this you can take the strips like this. now this acrylic mirror strip or sheet is isosceles like this and the height of this triangle this height of this triangle will be equal to the radius of the dish this is radius of the dish we can compare like this now this is acrylic sheet i have taken i have made it into an isosceles triangle sheet and like this i have taken 8 or 10 or 11 strips i can take it and you have to fix it on a bowl like this or wooden frame we have to uh, paste all these things or fix it on the wooden sheet now then it will look like a dish of a con this is concave shaped and this look like this see here now when these mirror sheets are arranged like this when the mirror sheets are arranged like this now you get like this now instead of have fixing the mirror sheet i have painted this with acrylic paint mirror paint it also works as a dish for the solar cooker now now we can know the radius of this and you can also find out when you keep it on a when you keep this uh, uh, outside in the in presence of sunlight and at the focus we have to keep the vessel when you keep the vessel at the focus of this and the contents inside the vessel will try to boil or will get cooked when the contents are present in the container are kept at the focus of this dish antenna this dish shaped our solar cooker it will start cooking so this is about solar cooker now let me give you the notes for this solar cooker making of a solar cooker a solar cooker looks like TV dish. Make a wooden or iron frame like TV dish. Take an acrylic mirror sheet. Cut the mirror sheet into 8 or 12 pieces. We have taken a mirror sheet and we have cut into a isosceles triangle shape and we have taken 8 pieces like this. Now each mirror piece has isosceles triangle shape. Each mirror piece has isosceles triangle shape like this. The height of the mirror strip, the height of the mirror strip piece is equal to the radius of the dish. Now see here, this is the height of the isosceles triangle shaped mirror sheet. Now this is height now this height when we join the bases of all these uh, all these mirror strips we get the dish shape now here the height will become as radius of the dish the height which looks like this will become as radius of the dish so that means h is becoming radius of the dish now on the concave surface of dish on the concave surface of dish paste the mirror pieces paste the mirror pieces by joining their bases by joining their bases now paste these mirror sheets then we get now we have solar cooker now keep the solar cooker in sunlight the solar cooker works in presence of sunlight only so keep the solar cooker in sunlight like this the concave surface of solar cooker shall face the sun so the concave shape of the cooker should face the sun that means sun rays should fall on the concave surface at the focus keep the cooking vessel now at the focus we have to keep the vessel now where where is the focus 
how can we know the focus where should we keep the vessel now here we know h h means height of the mirror strip it is also equal to radius now radius means it is radius of curvature it is equal to twice the focal length this small f is called focal length now this here it is focus focus is indicated by capital f focus is principal focus and it is a point where all the reflected rays meet now this is f capital f is focus now at the focus we have to keep the cooking vessel vessel we have to keep now in order to identify where is this focus where we should keep the vessel now we have to find out now we already know height so height means here height is like this now height is like this and when you get like this we get uh, here here we get the radius now half of the radius is we get uh, here focal length so this is focal length at the focal length or at the focus we have to keep the cooking vessel so it is easy to identify where we have to keep the cooking vessel we have to keep the cooking vessel at the focus and the focus is a point and this point we can identify with the help of h when we know the h it is also equal to r now when we know the r it is equal to twice the focal length yeah, small f is focal length and uh, when we know the focal length f is equal to r by 2 so at a distance of half of the radius at the distance of half of the radius we get f capital f or focus at this place we have to keep the vessel now at the focus keep the cooking vessel now at focus heat is produced here the light energy is converted into heat energy and heat is produced at the focus the vessel receives the heat and the rice is cooked